All right, here we go, Monterey. What a day. Hold on a little bit. Holy smokes, that wind. It's going the other way, but that has pulled it a mile left. All right, well, it looks like we might be taking a drop. <laughs> first shot of the day. Welcome back to every shot of an 11 handicappers round here at Monterey in Portugal. It's the number one course. It's been ranked number one for pretty much ever since it was built. And we are blessed to be here today. I'm in the cart with Rob. How you doing, mate? Yeah, not doing well, actually. Ask me in a couple of holes, Sam. <laughs> All right so far after the first shot. But yeah. This is one of the most difficult courses. Um, so yeah, don't expect a, a record breaking score, especially since we've already binned our first shot off the tee box. Um, there is a local rule here though that you're not really supposed to re-tee. You go down to the place where it crossed out the bounds, you drop and you take a lateral penalty. So it'll be shooting three if I can't find this ball, but it's unlikely because it literally turns so far left. Okay, sadly the ball is gone. So we are playing our third shot. Got a three hybrid. We're about 200 yards from the pin. So long old shot this one. That is a really good strike. Get there, get over that bunker. In the bunker it goes, but I'm happy with the strike. Our first experience with the Monterey bunker in this video, and we are short sighted as you like. So getting up and down would be a miracle. But I think just getting out is the main order of the day here. Oh, mate, I'll take that all day long. Good, love that. Really good up and down there. Yeah, so that is pretty outrageous. Obviously the lateral drop came into play there, um, but we've made a five. Uh, three was the hybrid, out of the bunker for four, in for five. Really, really good hole. In the worst possible way, if you know what I mean. Hole number two is a par five. It's 512 yards long and it's SI6. Let's see if we can do slightly better than that. <laughs> Oh, it's flirting with the water. I think it's all right. Sit up, stay up. All right, well, it looks like we might be taking another penalty drop up there because it looks like it might have rolled backwards into the water. It's been a mixed bag start. Um, me and Rob have both just, I think, drowned our balls. There's a chance that mine stayed up, but when you hit these sides of these ponds, they are really steep. Um, so it's unlikely that it stayed up. It might be caught up in some rushes, but um, yeah, not great. But I feel like I'm playing well after one it's just that i'm a little bit wayward and it's just those millimeters that are costing me at the moment so in the long run i feel like it would be okay all right guys you can see how steep the edges are now that we're up here unfortunately mine hasn't caught one of these little plants to keep it in place so we are dropping for the second time in two holes but it's a par five so maybe we can make another bogey and it won't be too bad yeah that'll do should leave us about 100 odd year yards in i think that one all right, I've got 115 in here, guys, um, but we're kind of like into a breeze. I don't think I can muscle my 50 degree there, so I'm gonna hit, not, I'm pretty much hitting a full pitching wedge, I won't lie. I'd rather go long than land in the bunker again. I could be quite good as long as it clears the bunker. Oh my God, that is so good. <sighs> All right, uh, got a 10 foot here for par somehow, so let's see if we can roll it home. Oh my God, the fact that I'm one over through two with two penalties is absolutely absurd. <laughs> what you didn't see, guys, is Robert's just sunk probably about a 35, 40 foot putt. Which, oh my God. If it hadn't, it, if it hadn't been dead centre, it was probably going off the back of the green. <laughs> it yeah, is so there's a bunker behind up. the green, I think I was playing out the bunker <laughs> if, it, if it missed the hole. Uh, oh dear, this is, this is outrageous. I don't know what's hey, going on right Tom. now. It went in the hole. It went in the so. flipping hole, mate. It went in the hole. Hole number three, a tricky downhill 367 yard par four to a peninsula green. It's SI2. Yeah, nice downhill par four here. Let's see if we can not <laughs> take a penalty off the tee box this time. Well, there's a chance we'll be taking a penalty. Come on, win. Push it back. Slow it down. Oh, yes. No, it was fine. Stalled up in the wind. Taking the contour, Lynx Golf is the best. Very dangerous shot here. Big body of water, balls beneath my feet. Pin's about 122 yards away, but the winds make it play more like 130. Gonna air it out to the left. 
and uh, hit a nine iron. A nice full one. That's pretty much perfect. Yeah, all right, we've got a short chip on. That's the safest play there by, short, by far, rather than trying to take it over the big body of water. It's about 30, uh, 36 foot to the pin here. Um, I think I'm just gonna sort of like bump one up, to be honest. Ooh, left it a little bit short. Gonna be a big putt for par there. All right, see if we can roll this one in. Oh my God, I'm on absolute fire right now. But get out of my way. Get out of my way, everyone, I'm on fire. So today we're playing off the signature tees, which is like the white tees here. Um, yesterday, me and Oakley actually filmed a major for the Bandits channel on the championship tees, which are a heck of a lot further back. Um, so that will be coming out in the near future. Um, I don't think it will surprise any of you if I say that I'm slightly better off today than I was then. Um, but yeah, there's a hell of a long way to go and this course can, you can easily put a quad or a quintup or a double digit on the flipping card. <laughs> what hole four is a 335 yard par four and it's SI 14. It'll do, we're away. In the fairway. <laughs> Happy days. All right guys, uh, I've got about 130 to the pin here. Um, it is uphill downwind, but not hitting very well today. I've had a few too many box yesterday. Super box, the local beer, and um, I'm feeling a little bit rough. So I'm gonna hit a nine iron. I feel like that might be the play. Oh, I've absolutely creamed it. Might be too much now. Nope, absolutely perfect. Striking it pure today, boys, feels really good. I've actually got a little mini major going on at the same time, so everyone's in the zone right now. All right, this is a scary shot because it is just straight down a, a sheer face. As soon as I get back onto the green, did just come a little bit long here, so. Stop there. Yeah, okay, we're just, that's just safe, that is. Let's go, par, we'll take that all day long. Our first par three of the day, it's SI 16 and it's 150 yards long. All right, uh, wind's off the right here, pin's about 135 yards away, so got a nine iron in hand. Again, still feeling that bock, that bock magic. Just stay short of that bunker, please. Oh yeah, fair. Yeah, like that. Got a birdie putt coming up. Got a 39 footer up the hill here for birdie. Two putt is what we're looking for, but we take a bird for sure. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am out of control. I'm out of control right now. I'm level par through what? Six holes? <laughs> oh my God. This is something else. Don't let your man get hot. Do not let me get hot because this is getting fiery. I mean, the sun's out, glorious blue skies, couple of clouds going about, quite a bit of wind though. Um, but yeah, overall, this is beautiful. Hole six is a 534 yard uphill par five. It's massive and it's into wind and it's SI4. Outrageously long par five. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Just gonna aim at the bunker on the right hand side because I can't get to it. Good marker as well. Oh no, that one is dead. So sad. I'll uh, I'll have to drop over there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I am just in front of the lady tee box where I'm dropping, guys. <laughs> so we get to tee off again. <laughs> I, get, I don't get to tee up off the tee box, but not ideal, not ideal. But I'll go and hit a hybrid from over there. Right, I was trying to tell them not to pull in front of me with the buggies, but they've done it anyway. So. Oh, flipping heck. Sit! Sit! That is either in the bunker, over the bunker in the vegetation, or extremely luckily safe. But I think it's probably the, uh, the, the second of those two options. When your luck is in, your luck is in. Like another one foot and I would have been in the longest stuff that you can imagine. Right, I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge up and over this. Should easily clear it. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. 
straight up and over. Should leave myself about 100 in now. Yeah, good stuff. It might be the longest par five on the planet, guys, because um, uphill into wind is just an absolute mega beast. All right, big shot here, guys. We've got about 155 to the pin. It's uphill. I've got six iron in hand because I feel like this is going to launch a lot higher because obviously I'm off an upslope. So we're going to see what we can do here. Absolutely smoked it. I should be on the green. Yeah, we're right, we're up there, we're putting. This is gonna be a bit of a damage limitation hole, really. I've got 63 foot for bogey here. And <laughs> to keep the one putt streak alive, I think I've got to play it like it's about 45 though. So I'm gonna aim about there, because it's kind of downhill, so. Gonna to have to take that slope. Oh, there's actually a chance. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? What a putt from there. We'll take that all day long. Tap in for the double. Okay. Nice. Ugh. Three was not working out perfectly, but it's all right. Like, we're recovering well, which is the main thing. I'd much rather be crap off the tee and hit the irons and putt well than I would anything else. Hole seven is a par three. It's 157 yards long and it's SI eight. What we've got next is we've got a par three from L into wind and it's 173 to the pin. I have got a four iron in hand to try and get there. Ah, uh, faded off. Hopefully it's going to be safe. I'm not sure there's that much runoff, mate. I'm not sure there's that much runoff. Found the edge of this. There's no finding that ball. Going to have to take a drop. Take that drop there. Go. Oh my God, I'm in the bunker. This is going to be a big score. This is a card wrecker here. Don't have to go too soft on this one because it's got a bit of bit of green to work with this time. Sit. Am I putting or am I off the back? Got a 24 footer here up the hill. Uh, so, see if we can roll it close. It's up now. Oh, it's fast. It's right on top of like a, a like a turtle back here. All right, we're in. That's a triple. I'll tell you what, Monterey is definitely a place that can humble a man quick. I found that out three days on the trot whilst being out here filming Bandit's content. This is the last round while we're here. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of numbers put on the card, but it's all right. We're still playing well. Hole number eight is another par five. It's 470 yards long and it's SI 12. Just avoid that bunker. I think it's in. Kick left. Sadly, we found this bunker on the, uh, the right-hand side. Um, if I hadn't, I think I'd probably be going for the green in two because it would have rolled another 30, 40 yards, I think. Got pitching wedge because I just want to make sure I get out of here, to be honest. Oh, don't go in the other bunker. Don't go bunker to... Oh, no, we're all right. I thought for a second there I'd go in bunker, bunker, but we're out perfectly. So we've had to lay up. We've got 120 to the pin, even though it's elevated. It's actually playing a little bit more like it's... 110 because the wind is absolutely blowing a gale. Turn round, turn, 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 turn. Is that long? Oh, hello, no, it is long, but we are putting. 42 footer here. Yeah, it's gonna always break so much. Go, 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 and stop. Not bad. Okay, par for me then. Managed to steady the ship a little bit there, which is nice. Um, getting a par, especially after, you know, potentially having a bit of an issue in the bunker. But yeah, happy with that hole. And uh, now we're moving on to nine, which is quite the sight, I won't lie. Hole number nine, the signature hole here at Monterey is absolutely covered in bunkers. It's a par three, but apparently it's the easiest on the course at 137 yards long. Yeah. Did not feel comfortable. The tee box is all over the place. And unfortunately, I've literally caught the top lip of the bunker and gone back in. We're about to see something special here, boys. I mean, look, guys, I am so down below the pin. It's unbelievable. Just let anyone know who's up there. Potentially there's a missile incoming. Right, we've got to come through this with a bit of, bit of speed here to get out, to be honest. That is so good. So flipping good. I've got 30 foot here for par. 
Oh, but, oh my God, it's literally the wind is stopping it. I might go get a spot on that before it blows off the green. Just got to tap in here for the bogey. There we go. That's a four for me. We've rounded the turn in six over. We are on to the 10th. It's a par four. It's the fifth hardest on the course and it's 392 yards long. I'm going to aim at that bunker on the left hand side. Shouldn't really be able to get into it. It's going to have to kick left, but it should do. Yeah, it's coming round. Playing them contours just like Ugly likes to see. Yeah, okay, so I've played this hole a couple of times now and I kind of know that it's a three shot hole for me. It's just the next shot is quite tricky because it's a long way. And also on top of that, the ball's beneath your feet and it's all out of bounds on the right. So I'm going to have to really, really play careful on this next shot. The pin's kind of at the back. I kind of feel like I should go for this one, actually. Originally, I didn't think I would. Yeah, I didn't really, really think I'd originally go for this. Um, but I'm actually feeling a little bit now. Wind's off the left, ball beneath my feet, aiming at the big bunker. If it ends up in it, fine. That could be so good if it clears that bunker. Oh, it's so good. It's out the back. It's out the back. That is like unbelievable. That is unbelievable for me. I'm so happy with that shot. Yeah, guys, I'm currently actually recording dual videos at the moment. We're doing a mini major, as I think I said earlier in the video. So sometimes I'll be talking to the camera that's the big camera, basically, for the Bandits channel, which you'll be able to see um, in probably a couple weeks time. Um, and because of that, um, I'll be talking to that because that's priority. Oakley has been very nice and said, yeah, you can get your filming done for your solo channel at the same time, just as long as you don't hold everyone up. So just making sure we prioritise the bandit video over this one. All right, I've got an absolutely rapid, put rapid one here. I'm going to putt it because I'm just too shit scared, to be honest, to do anything else. I mean, that's, I think, the best I could probably hope for. There you go. The par for me there. Oh, should have been a par. Super happy with that one, guys. Just that five iron, hitting that in. Really dangerous shot. Lots of things that could have gone wrong. Went for it, worked out, got rewarded with a par. So very, very happy. A very scary par three over a huge canyon. It's 178 yards long and it's SI 11. Won't lie, really scary shot here. Um, loads of wind. Um, so... <laughs> Loads of waste area as well, flipping it. Yeah, turn, turn. I'll take that. <laughs> when it's your day, it's your day. All right, I got um, 18 foot here for birdie. Would you mind taking the pin out for me, Oaks? All right. Might be a little bit racy this one, I'm not gonna lie. I've also got a bug that's literally decided to land right in front of the ball. Ah, uh, it's going to go a mile past as well. That was racy. Oh dear. Okay, par. Take that all day long. The 12 hole is a par 4. It's not a long one at 330 yards long, but it is very, very tricky as it's SI7. Alright, okay, I've got a hole here. Um, a little bit nervous because I've put it in the water two times out of the two times I've played it so far. So I'm going to give it loads over to the left. I've got six iron, so I shouldn't even be able to get to the water on the right where it closes in. So Nice and safe. <laughs> Aim it about 50 miles out to the left. All right, guys, big shot here. Huge body of water in front of us. We're off a slight down slope. Wind is hard off the right. It's pushing mad. I'm aiming straight at the pin because as you go right, the land actually juts out to you. So um, that way, if the ball is pushed to the right, it should land on the land rather than in the water. I'm safe, that's for sure. Unless I go in the bushes at the back, but sit. Yeah, we're safe. We're on, we're on land and that's all I can hope for in this hole. I made a big number here yesterday, guys, so I'm glad to be on dry land across. We're not on the green, but we've got what looks like a pretty straightforward chip straight towards the water. All right, guys, just chipping down here. Um, anywhere on the green is a result here for me, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Chance at par. There's a chance. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind and actually went outside my line. 
Rob gave me the perfect read and I just, I just didn't trust him. I don't know why, he's been so good all day. Oh, I thought I'd missed for a second there, I thought I pushed it, but it's a bogey, happy days. Hole 13 is a stunner down a valley with a huge lake behind it, 381 yards long and it's SI9. All right, okay, let's just pop one down there. Yeah, it's fine, there's loads of space down there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's flat. I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping it's flat over there. All right, so there's the pin down there, guys. You're not gonna be able to see it while I'm taking this shot because I've got to go up and over this bunker. Go on, wind. My shot. Yeah. I, I wanted to play short rather than play long, so I'm happy with the result there. Uh, I got about 30 yards here. Um, just on, really, is all I'm looking for. Yeah, I'll take that. Good opportunity to make par here. All right, got a 12 footer here for my par. Oh, that's good. I'm on, like, I, this is one of those days, like genuinely the planets have aligned for me. What can you say? Like just everything's going, coming up on me right now. We've got another par three here. It's 149 yards long and it's SI 17. Okay, we've got a par three, uh, 139 to the pin. Blowing down though, got a picture wedge in hand. Oh, that's gonna have to get lucky on that line. Go, go, go. Cross land, but it might have trickled in. Uh, we are alive. <laughs> it's in the cabbage. Just gotta try and jab this, stab it out really. It's out. So that's something. All right, got 36 foot up the hill. I got a break in slightly, but a bit of a weird one, really. Oh my God, if that drops, then I might as well buy lottery tickets. It hasn't quite. My numbers are really in though. That's a solid putt from there. Uh, nice little four. <laughs> Currently eight over with four holes to play. I've uh, got to say, this is probably one of those rounds that is once in a blue moon because I am getting all the putts to drop at the moment or literally having tap into a second. There's no like nervy ones. So yeah, loving life. Hole 15 is the hardest on the course. It's 366 yards long. It's uphill with a large pond in front of the green that will gobble up any balls that fall short. It's a long par four. I don't really think I'm getting there in two. Um, so just going to hit three wood. I knew I was about to do that, I head cased. All right, looks like we're taking another penalty drop. Far from ideal, but it is what it is. Um, let's just try and focus in on this next shot now. That's good. Yeah. All right, well, we should have an approach in from there because it's far enough up. The problem with this hole is, is that there is like nothing to play with in front of the green. It's literally just straight in the pond. So your approach if you've got a long one, it's going to be really hard. So um, yeah, hopefully we're far enough up to have like a seven iron maximum. Right, daunting shot here. Going to hit a pitching wedge. There's plenty of club to get there. Just a good strike required. Might be quite good. Stop, stop, stop. I think it's just avoided going in the bunker, guys. So yeah, it might be a big score or maybe we can get away with a double. Four was a pitching wedge. So this is my fifth shot. <clears throat> oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it stopped like way earlier. Really <laughs> oh dear. Six, it's a double, but it could have been a lot worse. We've got another long par five here. It's 523 yards long, it's SI 13. How will we do? I'll do. Yeah. Yeah, it's long par five. I'm going to play it like it's a par six. Solid hybrid there, pretty happy with that. We've now got um, five iron in hand because we're going to lay up in front of the bunkers up there, which are about 210 away. Oh, you've got to be kidding, Tom. It's over. All right, okay. I did say I was going to play it like a par six. And when you hit five iron about a hundred yards, then that is more the case. 
Right, feeling a bit saucy, gonna hit a free wood. Got 230 to the pin. I don't think I'll get there, but there's not all that much danger on the right side, so I'm gonna aim it over there. Get over that bunker. Get over. Did that go in? Yeah, Fuck! Oh, that's gonna be like an 80 yard bunker shot. That's just not what I wanted. Oh, guys, so frustrating. We were literally like a foot from, not perfection because it wasn't a great strike, but a foot from getting away with it there. We've actually hit the very highest part of the bunker, rolled back in. So now we've got a, I think it's 70 yards. It's the worst kind of bunker shot. Oh, it's out. That is extremely lucky, isn't it? <laughs> lucky Tom strikes again. We have got 78 foot uphill on this one. That is terrible. I mean, weight is actually not too bad, but oh dear. Yeah. It's a one putt. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been lucky to get out there with a six. To be honest, guys, the way we played that hole could have been way worse. So we'll take our double. We'll move on. Hole 17 is the third hardest on the course, a long carry across the water and then a long approach shot. It's 392 yards long and it's a par four. Tough old hole this one. Um, just aiming at the bunker straight ahead. Can't get there with three woods, so. I'll do it. Yeah, all right, okay. Still gonna be a long old approach in on this one though. Got a five iron in hand, it's about 200 yards up there or playing about that anyway. I'll try and hit a little bit of a little bit of a draw so it'll chase up a bit more. Come on, come round. That is so good. Yep. That is I mean today has been a ball striking. I'm not gonna say masterclass from me because that would be a lie because I'm not a tour pro, but on my level, I'm absolutely loving life. Give me assessment of the shot, Rob, because I just need someone to massage my ego yeah, just actually, a little bit. You couldn't have hit it any better, could no, you? Like, literally, it was absolutely perfect. You could have, the drone, I mean, it's up there, you could have put the ball on the drone and dropped it and it would have been, <laughs> couldn't be in a much better place. Go on, more, strike it more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got a long old birdie putt here, 13 yards, and it's going to break a hell of a lot to the left, so it's quite downhill too, it looks quite zippy. Is that ever going to stop? Yeah. Oh, thank God. There we go. Like that a lot. All right. And to finish off here, we're on to a par five. It's SI15. It's 505 yards long. The green is tiny and has water all around it. 18, a daunting par five, I won't lie. Uh, water surrounds the green. It's not the longest, but we're actually playing into wind today, so it's going to be a little bit longer. Might be all right. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Just in the fair weather. All right, uh, simple layup, guys. Got a five iron in hand. Gonna go straight over towards the trees on the left. Pins over on the right behind the pond. So hopefully if I get it up there far enough, I won't have to carry any water. Take the danger out of play. Yep, that is probably one of the better strikes of the day. Love that. All right, here's the plan. Uh, we've got 80 to the pin. I'm gonna hit like a hundred shot, and just make sure I shoot it past, aim for the fat exit, uh, area of the green because it's a really dangerous pin, so. I might need to go. I think it should be all right. Oh, it's in the bunker. There might be a twist to the tail yet. Not the, not the biggest lip bunker of the day, but still a bit of an adversity. Ow. That is so dainty. Holy smokes, I got lucky there. Oh, it's close. It's close. There we go. Love that. Oh, thank you, Oakley. Thank you. Right, okay, so there we go. We are done. The official scores are in. I came in at plus 13, which means I shot an 85 today. Um, it's not my best score ever on the channel, but I would put it up there with my best performance ever because this course is exceptionally hard. So very, very happy. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed uh, and you want to see some more content from me, well then you just got to click right here.